Dobro jutro. Good morning, dear ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in our program, Ljubljana for you. In this program, we would like to invite you to visit different sites in Ljubljana and, of course, also cultural events. There are quite a few of them. We have a program which is called Visit Ljubljana, and over there you can see what is going on in a certain day. However, Ljubljana has plenty of cultural events and not all of them are mentioned in those programs. And that's one of the reasons why I invited my colleague today, Mojca Pachnik. Dobro, Thank you. Dobro jutro, Mojca. Dobro jutro. Good morning, everybody. Kako si? Zelo dobro. Pa ti? You see, today we learned something more. Pa ti, that means what about you? So thank you very much, Moitza, for sharing these uh, few words, Slovenian, because we need to learn yes, Slovenian. Of course. Uh, Moitza, you uh, brought with you also your friend. Uh, who is uh, the friend next to you? Yes, uh, this is uh, Anja Kuchel. Okay. She's the manager of Opera Bar. Okay, so we are going to talk about what Moitza. You are a tourist guide. She's naming my colleague. Yes. You are a dancer. Yes. You are. A singer. Uh, also, this also. is the last of my talents. <laughs> <laughs> so you are developing your talents every winter when it's a low season, uh, you go for course, something else? Of course, I, I've uh, done uh, dancing, acting, moderating. Now it's time for singing. Now it's, uh, well, in the rain <laughs> or in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, singing in the rain. We'll do the talk about that later. Namely, the voice is very important for us tourist guides. And when we do tra trainings, we also do uh, some practical work on that. However, if you want to be a singer, that's much harder. Of course. Uh, well, how do you breathe? Um, how do you prepare your body also with other exercises? Uh, what do you eat? Uh, what do you drink or what not? What do you eat as well? Uh, oh, yes. Oh, that's so much. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. So when have you decided to, to start to train to be a singer or to train your voice? Well, that's, uh, that's been a long uh, year's wish, mm -hmm. but uh, it was always kind of uh, standing aside and watching. And now I took the courage mm -hmm. uh, to embrace that uh, mm -hmm. education. Mm -hmm. So how many months ago, years ago? Um, in the springtime. In springtime. And how often you practiced? Uh, once a week. Once a week. Well, with a teacher, with we a vocal coach. But yes. you should actually every day. Okay. So, But at the end, most probably, you have to present. We have to see the results of this training. Of course. Um, well... Um, I'm sure that the professional singers have even more um, to say about it. I'm just at the beginning of this way, um, doing it as a hobby. But of course, I think um, there's no progression if you don't perform, yeah. because that's uh, different. Like uh, we cannot uh, guide, uh, uh, you know, our husbands at home and yes. you know practice when we have the guests in front of us. That's, that's different. totally different story. Yes. And all the circumstances that come around, you know, there's a, uh, I don't know, the car, loud car, and mm -hmm. you cannot explain. Yes. Or yeah. stuff yeah. like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, that means that. Your teacher suggested you to organize a kind of a concert or? Yes, well, we are, um, well, for this event yes. that we are going to uh, ex 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 uh, pose tonight, <laughs> yes. tonight at uh, 8 o'clock, um, uh, we are uh, different uh, singers. Um, from different professions. Some of them are doing this as a main profession, some as a hobby. Okay. And uh, what is common with all of us is that uh, we all love singing mm -hmm. and we have the same vocal coach, Maya Biltz. Okay. So she was initiator mm -hmm. um, to uh, gather together and also learn how about, you know, wha what is all to do for organizing a concert so oh, all right and then and then the next step was the next step was you, you know uh, what they say uh, everything happens for a reason that's true uh, so the the same uh, you know er energetic people yes. um, meet another energetic people and with vision so i met anya kuchel uh, so she was uh, totally um, 
uh, with me combining this uh, vision and an idea. Mm -hmm. So we are going to make this happen, right? Yeah, Anya. of course. <laughs> Everybody. Yeah, the Vardan, Anya. The Vardan. You come from Opera Bar. Yeah. This is a very popular bar in Ljubljana. Yes. The I name agree. says that it's next to the Opera House. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. With a long tradition, but you renovated it a few years ago. Yeah, exactly. Eleven, I, I think. Yeah, yes. eleven. Now it has a modern touch, uh, and you have also places for small concerts. Yes. True. So how often do you organize cultural events? Um, I will say once a month mm -hmm. because I think that it's more about quality than quantity. Yes. So one is happening tonight. Uh, so like Moitza said, we join forces and create an amazing event. Okay. So um, you will be there. How many of you will be there tonight? Uh, we are... Uh, uh, seven in the group, and we have a special guest, uh, Luca Marcus Steyer, who is also going to join us. Okay, and this is going to be in, like in one corner of Opera Bar. Yes, um, it's right b below of our um, how to say it um, terrace or yeah. bar. No, no, no. Inside, inside. Um, on the stage, a little on stage. Yeah. You made us. A certain part of the bar yes, you made for yes, a stage. Yes. So that means you start at 8 o'clock, as I've heard. So Opera Bar, don't forget about that. Yeah. Uh, next to Opera House. And uh, that's going to be very cozy, I would say, because there will be people also coming like for a coffee or for a drink, and then they will hear you. So it's, it's, you made some posters. Oh can, I, yes. can we see them? Of course. Yes, maybe we can see it like this. Yeah. So, so where are all those posters? Oh, uh, a lot of places in Ljubljana, and also uh, we decided, it says, you know, we can learn something more. Yes. Glasbeno, so music, praznično, festival, darilo. Present. Present. Or a gift. A eh? gift, yeah. yeah. So we decided to um, have this as a gift for our friends and the people who will become our friends. I heard that your gift to us will be two songs. Yes. So you are going to sing two songs. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so um, these kind of events, uh, uh, you said that you organize like once a month or twice a month. It depends, what, on people who approach you and yeah. ask you? Yes, I have some meetings or mm -hmm. something, then I choose if it's right for our place because not every kind of music is right for our place so mm -hmm. um, just we talk like Moitza has some energy and that's I think that's connected us that's yeah. the best yeah. yeah and that's why we think that it's a great idea that you join them tonight at eight o'clock in Opera Bar and you will definitely have an excellent possibility to mingle with locals because not everybody speaks English However, it is really nice to, to meet the locals, to talk maybe about Slovenian, what's going on in the other places. So don't miss it. Thank you very much for being with us today and see you tomorrow morning. Hvala lipa.